Kelly and I'm back with another video today for World Oceans Day. So I'm doing a YouTube hop with a couple of other YouTubers. I'll make sure that I put the um, their, wet, their uh, YouTube channels in the description so that you can follow along. Now I didn't have any photos of an ocean. I was at the ocean uh, this year in February but all of those photos are scrapbooked and I'm not going to re-scrapbook something like that. So I found the closest thing I had which was water and it's these pictures of my grandson at a pool last December. So I'm starting out, I know you guys aren't going to believe this if you follow my channel, with white cardstock. It just spoke to me that these colors are so bright and clear that it would be cool for it to be on a clean background. Um, that white cardstock is basil and then the plaid paper comes from the uh, photo play summer bucket list collection which is what I'm using a lot of this and um, it's the picnic table um, picnic table paper is the plaid. Then that blue paper is from the summer bucket list collection it's the splish splash paper and then the green paper is um, Doodlebug Petite Prints in um, the Citrus Gingham Linen paper. And then that yellow strip there is the Lawn Fawn Knock on Wood uh, Garden Bench paper from that collection. Now, I was watching Becky um, Bidding, Bidding Biting, I, can't, I don't know, I think it's Bidding, Becky Bidding, um, I was watching her YouTube channel, which she's fantastic. If you don't um, watch her, definitely go look her up. And she was doing a layout with a sketch that kind of was similar to this. And I was scrapbooking and I was on to my next one. I wanted to do my next one. I thought, oh, you know, this might work for these two photos. So my photos are a little bit different than what she was using. And I believe um, it was a sketch from... Um, Becky Fleck, a Becky Fleck sketch. I'm pretty sure that's what it was, but I totally forgot to even um, write down what it was, and I didn't, I don't even know what video it was anymore, so I can't go back there. So anyway, but I'm pretty sure that that's um, what it was. So I think it was a page map sketch is what it was. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to take my two photos, and they're four by six, well, they're not quite four by six because they were taken with my cell phone, but in that arrangement, and I'm going to pop those um, on a little bit of an angle, which if you know me, that's a little different. So white cardstock, a little bit of an angle. Look out, guys. And I'm going to take my journaling card there. That's from L Studio. And just pop that to the left side there so I have a place to journal. I'm inking everything with my Memento Dewdrop gray, gray Flannel ink. And when I did the paper strips, I grounded everything with that blue paper and then um, made the green and the yellow go off a little bit on each side. That ball is from the Photo Play Summer Bucket List chipboard. Um, and then the stickers that I'm using right now are from the Summer Bucket List Element stickers. I'm adding in some more chipboard arrows from that collection. And then this little fish here. Um, not that there's fish in this pool. That um, fun is also from the Summer Bucket List chipboard. And then I have this um, little phrase strip that says, Go Swimming, because, I mean, heck, he's swimming, right? Um, that is from the Photo Play uh, word strip stickers from Summer Bucket List. And I'm thinking it's going to go somewhere in that neighborhood. They're not extremely sticky, so I'm able to kind of play with these a little bit. And I'm layering the stickers on the top of there. I have not glued down anything yet because I want to make sure that I have enough room all si all si on all sides. And I'm going to pop that fish up on some foam tape just because right now I have chipboard in the other two clusters so I want to mention in the third. So I just um, was looking at that Go Swimming and decided I wanted on top of that green paper but I didn't want as much space on either side. So what I did is I just um, cut off a little bit on the right side and I'm layering up my sticker uh, up that chipboard there trying to get those pieces to touch as many pieces on the, um, on the layout as I can so it's touching the blue paper and the cardstock and the green and yellow strips and also that sticker it helps bring your clusters together so remember that when you're trying to cluster that's a big thing not to see them as separate pieces but to get them touching as many other pieces as possible it helps your eye see them as a group so it helps them see it as a cluster it helps your eye see it as a cluster versus uh, separate um, pieces all right 
there we go kind of getting those pieces down with my ATG I've got that yellow arrow off to the side and I decide not to use it um, just because I think it's not going to work those two other cards are also from L studio I just pulled some things that worked with the collection um, and tried to decide what to do these little water droplets are coming from the um, summer bucket list uh, word strip stickers that you can see I just pulled them off there um, I thought that little you know splash there was kind of funny and there was a lot of splashing going on here it was really fun to splash grandma we were away and his brother and sister were sick so mommy and daddy were staying back at the condo taking care of them and grandma um, and um, and uh, the oldest got to go off on our own now this was in December and the pool was not warm enough I was freezing he was ha he was happy so at one point I got out and um, he had found some little friends to play with too in the pool you know how kids make friends so they were playing so I'm just auditioning a couple of alphas here that um, the first one was the ombre was a little bit too sophisticated and then this I want to call it fish boy and I want the word fish to be prominent but I don't have enough of the letters that I, well it's too big and I didn't have enough of the letters I was gonna make an S out of the eight which I'll MacGyver that same thing there didn't have enough now here I come up with this old alpha here it is the um, American Crafts Thickers and LAX I think you can still get these like at Michaels or Joann's and I don't have an H so I'm just gonna take a B cut off the bottom and then I get the H there so that was pretty easy and I just realized these are chipboard and I haven't um, glued them down so when I'm done with this voiceover I'm gonna go back and glue them down because I just touched it the layout sitting next to me and the O is definitely not going to stick very well I don't want them falling to the bottom I am thinking about using those um, word strip stickers but they are not gonna work now I shut my camera off was thinking I was done and there's too much space on the top so I decided to put a strip of the green paper that paper from um, the doodlebug petite prints collection at the top and then the bottom looked funny because there was nothing to close the layout off at the bottom so I just am going to add a thinner strip of the green paper down here and I just you know chopped a piece off of a the scrap that I had so that's what I'm doing here to get this all down and guys don't forget to like I said to go to the description to get the other um, videos today I'm not quite sure what everybody's going to be making but they'll be, do, be doing some sort of craft inspired by our oceans to celebrate World Oceans Day and how important the oceans are for us not only for the water but um, there's a lot of transportation on oceans that we forget about as well being a former retailer that I was we had a lot of stuff coming over on oceans so anyway super important to us super important to the diversity in our planet and so this is my nod to oceans today just gonna move that um, fun chipboard up just a little bit so it's not touching the green giving it a little bit of visual space down there and I really like the way the green is anchoring the whole uh, layout now I think that looks a lot better so I'll just play a little bit here take a little peek I think I like it though so a still shot and a couple of detail shots are coming up hope everybody's well and I'll be back with another layout again soon bye mm -hmm.